Okay, day in the life of Kitten Lady. First feeding with Baby Finn. Here he is. Good morning, Baby Finn. My life doesn't stop just because I'm fostering, so Finn gets to come with me on lots of adventures. He mostly sleeps in a bag, um, but every few hours he wakes up and has a meal and does his routine. Okay, so we have a pretty full day ahead of us today. I travel a lot, I work full time, I have a very active social life, um, but I believe that there's always a way to fit fostering into your life. So when I have an orphaned kitten, they just have to be able to be portable. So I have my diaper bag and I'm going to first pack up Finn's food. A little bottle. I recently started using this new formula called Breeder's Edge, uh, and I like it because it's shelf stable. Um, so this doesn't have to be refrigerated, which is really helpful if you're on the go. I also always bring a can of KMR just in case. I don't love the canned formula, but um, it can be good to have in case of an emergency, so I bring that with me. The other thing that I find really helpful for traveling is these hot hand hand warmers. So these things stay really, really warm once you break them up. Uh, so I bring these with me just in case I need to warm up a bottle. I also bring a few syringes just in case. And that is his lunchbox. So next up, we're gonna bring some cleaning supplies. Uh, with orphan kittens, you do have to help them go to the bathroom, so I always bring these little travel size Kleenex with me. These organic free and clear baby wipes. Uh, just a really simple wipe for any you know messes that might happen. Also bring um, some organic hand sanitizer. Wash your hands as much as possible when you're handling orphans because their immune systems are not developed. Uh, they are very susceptible to viruses and bacterial infections. You know, wash your hands first. Last but not least, you want to make sure that your kitten is cozy and warm throughout the day. Uh, so I always bring an extra baby blanket. I like to bring also a baby cloth. And then finally, a snuggle safe. Snuggle safe is a really great microwavable heating pad. This one actually is gonna go in the carrier with the kitten right before you leave. Make sure it's nice and warm and they'll stay cozy all day. Finn is all packed up. He's got a nice cozy blanket. He's got a snuggle safe. He's also got this snuggle kitty, which is a mom that has a heartbeat. And he is ready to go. Okie dokie, closing you in. Hi. Hey. You ready to go? Ready Here's to a go. burrito Give me this for you. Peanut. It's so nice out today. He's Who? soaking up the sun. Who likes the sunshine? He loves it. He's purring. So, this is Catherine my friend. Uh, we are on our way to Baltimore right now doing a little road trip from DC to Baltimore um, to go to a fundraiser at a bowling alley. I'm a terrible bowler. Are you a bad bowler? You're probably it a depends. lot better than me. Sometimes I'm really good, sometimes I'm terrible. I'm a terrible bowler, but it's gonna be fun. I've got baby Finn at my feet. Um, he's sleeping in a bag. Catherine knows at this time of year I've basically always got a kitten with me. I think every time I've seen you over the last two months, you've had a kitten with you. Uh -huh. Whether it was at my house, out to dinner, at brunch, <laughs> yeah, at true. the movies. <laughs> yeah, I even like take them to like council meetings. The thing about doing these little neonates is that they're like basically a jelly bean in a bag. Nobody even knows that they're there. Catherine knows. Fortunately, this bag kind of looks like a bowling ball bag, I was thinking, so like maybe people will just think I'm like a super serious bowler. Probably not once they see me bowl. <laughs> Finn, do you hate traffic? Almost there. Oh. All right, we made it to Baltimore. Finn, you ready to bowl? <laughs> what would his bowling ball be? Like a... A marble. A marble! Oh, we need to get you a marble bowling ball, Finn. <laughs>
delicious warm water. What could this be for? <laughs> Moderate success? Moderate success. Major I'm success. Happy with how yeah. I did. You killed it. <laughs> I did alright. I'm a very inconsistent bowler. But the important thing is hanging out with badass babes. Yeah. Cat rescue babes. Um, Annie rescued one of my kittens. Uh, she's got Taro, who's a beautiful cat now. Yeah. Adult cat. She oh just my god. One, I think. She rescued this kitten, Taro. Um, that I saved from a cruelty case um, about a year ago, and that was how we became friends through Catherine yes. and the power of social media. Yes. Amazing. Annie followed me, and now that cat has like this badass home in Baltimore. Yes. And we all get to be She's friends. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See, you soon. See ya. All right. Top him off before we hit the road. Mm -hmm. Look at that belly. I know. He's like becoming substantial. <laughs> Look at that little man. He reminds me of a Weeble Wobble. Remember Weeble Wobbles? You know what I'm talking about? Those like Weebles wobble but they don't fall down. Yes. That's what he looks like. He's like kind of uh, conical. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to go back to bed? Probably. Finn and I are back home. Um, that was our fun little Sunday adventure together. Finn, you are so cute. He's trying to nurse on my finger. So there you have it. No matter what you have going on, it's always possible to save a life. And I think these little guys are worth it. Please consider becoming a foster parent for neonatal kittens. You can learn more on my website at kittenlady.org and follow me on all of my social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching!